Hi, Megan. Thank you for the question. Okay, um, you don't really need to download anything, um, and I'm not sure how to do it on the TI-82, but I can show you how to do it in Excel. So for a, an example, I'm going to take the ones from page 4, 32, 9 through 12, okay? And they give you the choice, but on these, we're going to use technology to find the p-value. Okay, and what I have set up here, the questions, number 9 is a right-tailed test with n equals 7 and test statistic t equals 3.5. In column J, I have what you're going to type, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and do these for you, and hopefully you can figure out how to do them in Course Compass, okay? So the first question is right till test with n equals 7 and test statistic t equal 3.5. What you're going to do is just come in Excel, click on a cell, and type equals. And then our function is tdist, T-D-I-S-T, -T, that stands for T distribution, open parentheses. And you can see underneath that it's going to tell me what arguments I need to fill in. The first one is x, or in our example, what t is equal to. So in this case, it's 3.5, and then I'm going to type a comma, and then degrees of freedom. Remember, our degrees of freedom are n minus 1. So in this case, it's going to be 7 minus 1, or 6. And then finally, the last argument is tails. We're either going to put in one for a one-tail test or two for a two-tail test. We see here that this question asks for a right-tailed, so we're just going to put in a one. Close percent parentheses, enter, and it returns our value, our p-value, which in this case is 0 0.006413. So we'll, let's try the next one, okay? Question 10 is a left-tailed test with n equals 27 and a test statistic t equal minus 1.5. So in this case, we're going to say equals t dist, all right, that's the same, and then our x value. We're going to always put in a positive, so in this case, t is equal to minus 1.5, but it's a left tail test. So in order to compensate for the left tail test, I'm going to just put in 1.5. We're going to always put in a positive value. So you're just going to put in 1.5. Then your degrees of freedom, which again are n minus 1, in this case 27 minus 1, or 26. And then finally, since we're doing left tail, that is only a 1 tail, so we're going to enter a 1. Close parentheses, enter. And it returns our p-value of 0.07283. All right, for number 11, we have a two-tailed test with n equal 21 and a test statistic t equal 9.883. So we're going to have equals t dist, open parentheses, x value of 9.883, comma, degrees of freedom. In this case, it's going to be 20. And now, instead of putting a 1, we're going to put a 2 because this is a two-tailed test. Hit enter, and it returns to us essentially a value of 0 very very small value. For number 12 again we have a two-tailed test n equals 11 and the test statistic t equal minus 2. Again in this case we're going to hit equals t dist open parentheses our x again we're going to make that positive 2.0 or you can just enter a 2. We're going to put in our degrees of freedom 10 and then we're going to put in that it's a two-tailed test and if we hit enter it returns our value of 0 0.073388. So that is how we can generate our p-values using technology. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you for the question.